security because we have a bunch of cameras. Hit the lounge, got a shower in, which was spectacular. Had a coffee, it's about 9 a.m., almost 10 a.m., I guess. One more flight, hour and a half. We're in Mackay, Australia. We're about to go meet Julia, our host, and then drive two hour, two and a half hours in the middle of nowhere to a new mining project where they're just getting started. So. All right, we just drove two and a half hours out of Mackay. Now we are at the Pembroke Resources Olive Downs Complex. This is a metallurgical coal mine, greenfield operations. So the mine right now is not active. All of this is brand new. Tees, who we're formerly with today, is the mine contractor of choice. So out there beyond those dirt piles, there's a bunch of contractors and scrapers and trucks moving a bunch of dirt, but once all of that initial work is done, Tease is gonna be taking over with a fleet of autonomous 794 haul trucks and excavators to slam out loads left and right. This is the calibration pad for the 794 AC haul trucks. We saw these get assembled yesterday at the Hastings facility. You could cut up some footage right now. And now they've been shipped down here. The technology is being calibrated using this area to make sure that truck knows exactly what it's doing fully autonomously. So we are about to fire this truck up and let it do its thing, do laps essentially autonomously while we take some footage. So they're, they're choosing the truck on the computer. Yeah, yeah, so we're basically um, selecting that truck, uh, D4779. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you go to autonomy status page, you go to operations, reserve the truck, and then yeah. we can flick the mode change switch to uh, to autonomy once so it's reserved. right now it's blinking green, which Correct. means it's yep. uh, manned. Which it's is not manual, a Not a robot. Mode. Yeah. And then it'll go to blue, yep. which will mean autonomous. Yeah, correct. So it'll go to solid blue, that means it's autonomous ready. Yeah. And then as soon as you flick the mode change switch on the machine, that'll go to then blinking blue, which will mean fully autonomous. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so he's, he's walking out there the laptop right now to change the mode on this truck. You can see it's the green flashing lights mean it's okay, safe to approach. It's not autonomous. There's no operator in there. He's gonna go up in the cab and once he's done, it'll be a solid blue light, meaning that's in autonomous mode. It's ready to go on its own. So they've, so basically within this pad, you've created lines that yeah, it can follow. Yeah, so within the AOZ, Autonomous Operating Zone, yeah. there's, there's lanes. Okay, yeah. They're yeah. Called. yeah. So. so he just got into the truck and he now has it in a lane. So now that truck can recognize, okay, I know where I'm at. He can set it to Autonomous. He's getting out of the truck right now and then given an assignment, which is what that truck's gonna do, where it's essentially gonna drive from there. So you have to do this. This is the testing area. You have to do this with every single truck um, before yes. you release them in the wild. Uh, so the calibration pad. Yeah. Cool. So there's, there's testing that you have to do um, okay. to basically confirm that it is operational. Do you wanna go up on the truck? I do. Okay. Let's go up on the truck while they're getting it dialed in. 
Yeah. Uh, it is, so right here, this is a Caterpillar 794 AC. So this is an electric drive haul truck. It's a 300 ton truck. And you can see by the technology on it that is clearly autonomous. Up here, before we get up on the truck, these are the forward facing sensors. So these are object detection. If I were to stand on that haul road and this truck was driving at me, it would sense me, it would stop before anything uh, could happen. And if it didn't, for whatever reason, everybody's gonna have an e-stop. So as this truck's running, I'll have an e-stop. It's a big red button. If I hit that, all trucks stop immediately. Let's go up. Yes. truck is autonomous ready. We have our fancy pink live testing in progress cone. Blue lights on. So then what? Then you just hit it on the computer? Yeah. <laughs> so the mine operator is Pembroke Resources. Tease is the mine contractor. They've branded some of the 794s as Pembroke Tease. There's this massive Pembroke logo in the tray, so they're going to lift the tray up for us so we can check it out. Seven nine three F's brand new. I didn't realize. I thought it was just seven nine fours, but they also have these. These are mechanical drive trucks. So these are conventional style, whereas the seven nine four is the electric drive. They both have different advantages, uh, but here are I guess four seven nine threes, and then the rest of the seven nine fours are at Hastings Deering, and they'll be brought in any day now to get their final fitting to get their beds and they're going to work in just a few weeks that's crazy all right this is the first big digger on site it'll be starting in a few weeks to lee bear 9800 we saw the last time i saw one of these was in france with angel last year they will eventually have six excavators feeding multiple fleets of both manned and autonomous trucks but this is the very first one, 3,000 cubes an hour, and it'll run 24 hours a day. And here's the business end of the Lee Bear 9800. The monster, monster bucket. <laughs> oh, it's so big. Unreal. This is an excavator, hydraulic excavator. 3,000 cubic meters per hour. We're gonna go check out the cab. Look at all this. Command center. Lee Bear 9800. Look at that, they have a vacuum. <laughs> uh, 
that's hilarious. Uh, that's so funny. The real professionals are here. You gotta get the hydraulic ladder footage. That's the most important footage of the day. Huge shout out to Teeth and to Pembroke Resources for having us out. It's not every day you see a brand new mine just about to fire up. 79 years of essential resources about to come out of this operation. And it's not just a mine. They just explained to me, Barry explained to me that it's a complex. There's all sorts of amazing things going on here from the reclamation to the solar fields to the conservation uh, work that they've done here. It's an amazing, amazing feat to just get this far, to just get to the beginning of a brand new mine these days, even though it's so essential. So thanks again to these companies. Shout out to Lee Bear and hopefully enjoyed checking out the Olive Downs complex. We will hopefully be back in about a year or so when they're mining full bore to show you what it looks like a little bit later. So stay tuned, just wait about a year from now.